Hi everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. In the last video, we learned how to build Angular applications using GitHub workflows. In this video, we will learn how to upload build artifacts using GitHub workflows. This is our workflow which builds the Angular application. If we open this and look at the steps, we added steps to check out the repository, set up Node.js, install dependencies and finally build the project. When the build is successful, we see these chunks of files generated. These files are generated under dist folder. I opened the same project in Visual Studio and built it using ng build command using the command prompt. When we build the application, it generates a folder called dist. This folder has another folder with the name of the project that we provide in package.json. So this folder contains the compiled output of your application, including all the necessary files that are required for deploying your application. Using GitHub workflows, I want to upload an artifact with these chunks so that if there is another workflow for deployment, that workflow can use these files. Using GitHub workflow, I want to upload an artifact with these chunks so that if there is another workflow for deployment, the workflow can use these files. Let's see if there is an action that helps in creating and uploading the artifact. GitHub.com slash marketplace is where we can find the actions. Let's search for upload artifact and press enter. We see an action called upload a build artifact. Let me open this. When we look at usage, we see an example here. So this is the action upload hyphen artifact with version four, and this has parameters. So name, path, if no files found, retention days, compression level, override, all these are parameters to this or inputs to this action. So name is optional input. If we don't provide any name to the artifact that we want to create, by default, the name of the artifact will be artifact. Path is required because this is where we specify what files should be created as an artifact. So let's make use of this and update our workflow to upload the artifacts. So let me copy this. Uh, for now, we just need only name and path. If you want to explore you can always look at these uh, inputs. So let's go back to the workflow. The name of our workflow is uh, built angular. So if we go to dot github slash workflows, this is our workflow. Let me edit this, create a new step. I'll simply copy paste the action that we copied. So let's give a name to this action. Upload build artifacts. And we are making use of actions from GitHub Marketplace. This action takes uh, two inputs. So using with keyword, we can specify the inputs. Let me remove all the comments here. Coming to name, I want to name this as uh, build artifact you can give any name that you want or i can simply give it as dist because we are going to copy the dist folder and coming to path we have uh, all these files under dist folder so dist folder is at the root of our application so i can simply specify dist uh, just to avoid confusion i'll go with build artifacts here build artifact and this will copy all the files and folders from dist folder to this build artifact. Let's save the changes. Commit and commit again. So this workflow will trigger every time we push some changes to the main branch. So this should start running. So we see this workflow running, build Angular app. The second workflow has triggered. It's installing the dependencies.
now the build is in progress and our upload build artifacts file has successfully run now to see if the artifact is successfully created or not uh, if we look at the logs it says artifact build hyphen artifact dot zip successfully finalized and this is the artifact id we also see the download url so we don't need to use this url because all artifacts that are uploaded by this workflow run can be seen in summary under artifact section so this is the artifact name that we have given it is of size 82.8 kb you can download it from this option or you can simply click on the artifact name there is an option to delete the artifact as well so let me click on build artifact So it has downloaded the artifact let me open this so we see in the build artifact we see angular demo app if we go to visual studio so under dist folder we have angular app demo inside this angular app demo we have all the files so we specified that everything from dist folder has to copy to our build artifact so it has copied angular demo app if i open this we see all the files so this is how you can upload an artifact using github workflow you can create multiple artifacts as well and you can see the number of artifacts created by this particular workflow so this artifact is specific only to this workflow run if i go to the previous workflow and go to summary we don't see any artifacts so every workflow run will have its own artifacts not just the entire folder you can copy specific files and folders as well if you look at the examples in github marketplace upload artifact action you'll see all the examples how to upload an individual file you'll specify the file name directly and if you want to upload an entire directory which we did just now you can specify the path to the directory you can also use wildcard pattern to match the path and you can use you can upload multiple files using uh, multiple paths and you can also exclude the paths that you do not want to uh, copy to the build artifact so explore these examples to understand more about how to upload artifact i hope the concept is clear if you like the content please like share and subscribe to interview pro thank you